Hello everybody, my name is Nisim Lopez, I am a Cuban American artist based in Miami, Florida and I also happen to be a targeted individual, meaning a victim of gang stalking. Now what we're talking about the gang stalking phenomenon, you know, the big picture I'm talking about, we're talking about two things really, organized stalking, you know, covert harassment, community based mobbing, you know, whatever you want to call it, and we're also talking about mind control technology meaning remote neural influencing, you know, brain fingerprinting, you know, that kind of crazy shit. Basically, you know, the targeted individual or the human test subject, you know, if you want to put it that way, is constantly harassed in an organized fashion by civilians of all types of social status that are recruited by law enforcement, you know, by the police. You know, these guys, the perpetrators, the citizens on patrol that are recruited by law enforcement, these people are brainwashed into believing that the target is a threat to society. You know, we're basically talking about character assassination. You know, they go around telling people that the target is a bad guy, that he's delusional, that he's a serial killer, he's crazy, he's a communist, he's a sex offender, he's a terrorist, you know, all that stuff. Now, the idea, you know, the, the, the idea behind this uh, clandestine civil military operation is basically to bombard the targeted individual all the time with negative environmental stimuli you know we're talking about street theater you know and they also want to expose the target to dark neuro linguistic programming you know we're talking here about a very toxic atmosphere you know a torment that doesn't stop you know the targeted individual is harassed agitated, intimidated, terrorized, 24-7, everywhere he goes, no escape. You know, the idea is to cause a nervous breakdown, you know. And eventually, you know, we're only human. Uh, after years of unjust, systematic, methodical abuse, you know, the isolated target ends up in a psychiatric institution, you know, discredited, demonized, you know, no support system, you know, institutionalized, you know, his credibility pretty much gone, you know. Another possibility is that the target might end up incarcerated, you know. They usually set up the target, you know, they send somebody to provoke the TI, you know, some kind of thug or something to to provoke a street fight or something and then, you know, basically trying to create a scenario so the police can come in and arrest the target, you know, under false accusations. So a lot of targeted individuals end up in jail. And some targeted individuals end up dead, you know. Uh, some targeted individuals even commit suicide in order to end up the, the, you know, the endless nightmare, you know. Some targeted individuals die of, of cancer, you know, brain tumor, heart attack or something. You know, I'm talk, you know, think about, you know, we're talking about years of accumulated stress, you know. The targeted individual is harassed for years. And like I said before, the idea is to completely fuck up the target mentally, you know, psychologically, emotionally. So basically, you know, we're dealing here with the targeting, you know, with the suppression of higher souls, you know. Uh, and who's behind it? Well, the multi-headed hydra behind the shit is the establishment, you know. We're talking about deep state criminal cabal. So that's the big picture, you know, that's the people who are behind the gas talking program, law enforcement, you know, the police, you know, the FBI, Homeland Security, you know, we're talking about deep state, you know, we're talking about, you know, the there's powerful people behind this shit. Now, it's very important that we targeted individuals understand this, you know. There are thousands, and I mean thousands, of targeted individuals out there. Not only here in America, but in the UK, in Europe, in Australia, etc. There is a global interagency program, you know. But now, you know, our governments, you know, why are they doing this to us? You know, well, if you really think about it, you know, organized talking, you know, gang stalking, Cointel Pro, community-based mobbing, covert harassment, you know, personality disintegration program, whatever you want to call it. This is, you know, federally funded, 
you know, we're talking about non-consensual, non-therapeutic human experimentation. You know, in other words, this whole gun stocking thing is a perfected apparatus. You know, this is a system of control that is currently being tested on us target individuals, you know. We're talking about human experimentation here. That's that's what this is all about. They're sharpening their techniques, you know, they're sharpening their methods of control, you know. So basically you could say that the Department of Defense is using us target individuals as lab rats, you know. This whole gun stopping thing, you know, this is a weapon, a perfected breakdown tactic on the human will. In other words, you know, these people have developed a, a, a perfect weapon, you know, or I guess just to say a perfected weapon, you know. And uh, this is a takedown program, you know, make no mistake, this is a takedown program, you know. We're talking about really damaging on ethical human experimentation, you know, and uh, the, the, the whole point of this shit, you know, this is a psychological weapon that is meant to be used against those who refuse to bow to the New World Order agenda. Basically, what it comes down to, if you're a free spirit and your ideas, your theories or whatever, if your ideas somehow clash with the agenda of the cabal one way or another, you know, you know, they're going to treat you as an enemy of the state, you know. They're going to try to silence you through the gang stalking program. That's what this is all about. You know, they're basically hunting down higher souls, you know. They're targeting, they're suppressing higher souls. That's what this is all about. Now, very important, you know, the people behind this sick organized stalking program, they envision a future, you know, like in the 2002 film Minority Report, you know, which is basically disclosure disguised as science fiction. You know, this movie, Minority Report, you know, it pretty much shows, you know, an elite, you know, a surveillance network having uh, direct access to your mind. I'm talking about complete and absolute dominion, you know. If you even have a thought that is considered to be out of line, you know, a thought that is not aligned with their agenda one way or another, you know, they're going to hunt you down and treat you like a fucking criminal, you know? We're talking here about the DNA molecule acting pretty much as an address that interfaces with the energetic aspect of human consciousness. Thanks to this uh, sophisticated uh, classified technology, you know, brain mapping technology, brain fingerprinting. And as I mentioned before, you know, Right now, they're still on the experimental phase, you know, they're still testing this uh, classified secret technology, you know, this perfected psychological weapon. They are uh, pretty much sharpening their methods, you know, they're testing this uh, uh, perfected weapon on peoples of all kinds of nationalities, you know, or types of ethnicities and culture, you know. They basically, they have cracked the human genome and they are experimenting, you know, on all kinds of different peoples, you know, from all types of countries, nationalities, ethnicities, culture, etc. They want complete and absolute dominion. Now, before I continue, I know that for the most part, 99% of the people who watch this presentation, I'm going to say that I'm crazy. Oh, forget about it. This guy is crazy. He's delusional. You know, this guy is uh, science fiction. He doesn't know what he's talking about. You know, I'm basically putting, uh, connecting the dots. You know, I'm talking about, you know, what's really behind this guy talking bullshit. You know, you know, what's coming in the future and shit, you know. So he's seeing what is the ultimate end of this uh, gang stalking phenomenon with the classified technology and all that shit. Well, like I said before, I don't expect anybody to believe me. You know, 99% of the people who are watching this presentation are not going to believe me. They're going to say I'm crazy. But the ultimate end of this gang stalking bullshit is 
transhumanism. Let me say it again. Transhumanism, artificial intelligence. That is the ultimate end. You know, the transhumanism agenda, for those of you who are not familiar, this is something that is presented to you with an optimistic approach. They want you to like this, you know, they want to make this shit fashionable. You know, transhumanism is described basically as the transformation of the human condition by developing, you know, sophisticated technologies, you know, beyond our, our wildest dreams, you know, technologies that can greatly enhance, uh, number one, human intellect, and number two, physiology. You know, when we talk about human intellect, intelligence, I'm talking about an artificial boost that will speed up reflexes and thinking. And, uh, you know, when we talk about physiology, I'm talking about the, our physical bodies will be, you know, pretty much indestructible, you know, with a really long lifespan, you know. So basically, this whole transhumanism shit, you know, we're talking about the perfect fusion of biological life with technology. A perfect, compact, quantum connection with the human mind that provides evolution without end. You know, and at the end of the day, you know, what is biological life, you know? Is it not matter? And, you know, what is physical matter? Is it not vibration that collides with human consciousness? You know, the reality that we perceive through our five limited senses. Is it not holographic in nature? And like I said before, you know, I know that this is a little out there, you know, and people are going to say I'm crazy. But this is what's behind the GANS talking program. The ultimate end is transhumanism and artificial intelligence. Digital Ascension. So let's get something straight, ladies and gentlemen. You think the United States government is going to give you all this transhumanism shit for free? You know, magnification of human intellect, physical strength enhanced, you know, all that shit. You think they're going to give you all that shit for free? There's not going to be a price for it? You know, transhumanism, you know, basically the human biological machine merged with artificial intelligence means that they will have complete and absolute dominion over you and by that I mean total total complete and absolute subjugation of the human will that means that when transhumanism is fully implemented you know Believe it or not, we're not that far from that era. If for some reason they they label you as an undesirable, as a national security risk or something, even if you're not really a threat or whatever, if you are labeled as some kind of threat to their agenda, all they have to do in order to eliminate you is go click, and that's it. <laughs> that's transhumanism right there. So all this targeted individual shit, all this gang stalking shit, you know, basically we're talking about the, the combination of community-based mobbing and mind control technology, you know, remote neural influencing, transcranial stimulation, synthetic telepathy, you know, this crazy ass technology that they're using on targeted individuals in order to, de to deprive targeted individuals of sleep in order to cause insomnia, in order to cause pain in the organs, they can cause a heart attack if they want, they can cause, you know, inflict pain in your stomach, molest molestation effects on the genital area, they can insert thoughts, images, phrases, impulses, dream video, etc. 
into your psyche, you know, especially when you are in an altered state sleeping, you know. Right now, these motherfuckers behind the gas talking program, right now, they are basically sharpening their techniques, you know. They are on the experimental phase. That's why this whole gas talking bullshit is an interagency program, a global interagency program. Because eventually, this is going to become the transhumanism phenomena. And when that shit is fully implemented, you know, the transhumanism, artificial intelligence shit, you know, that means that there will be no escape. You know what I mean? All they have to do, if they don't like you, is go click, and that's it. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is, you know, basically the ultimate end behind a gas talking program. You know what I mean? All of those targeted individuals here in the United States, you know, in Canada, in Europe, in the UK, in Australia, you know, they are experimenting on us, you know? The gas talking, the, 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 the actual cover harassment, and then the negative environmental stimuli, all that shit, that shit is done in order to fragment, to fracture your mind, you know, so that you can be programmed, you know, so, so that it becomes a little easier for them, you know, then all your experiences, all your psychological data is going to be downloaded in their super quantum computer, you know, thanks to the biofrequency technology, you know, that they have already, you know what I mean? And then they have all these crazy ass people in fusion centers that are using this classified mind control technology in order to mess with you. So, you know, we're not that far from the transhumanism era. It's here pretty much, I would say. But in a few more years, that shit is going to be fully implemented and there will be no escape. So, again, this whole gas talking bullshit, you know, basically what's behind it is the transhumanism agenda. When that shit comes, there will be no escape. If they don't like you, they're just gonna go click, you know, and that's it. Thank you very much for your time.